In this video, I'm going to talk about the board breaking setup for the middle punch. So once again, you can either do this with a machine holding the boards, if you have a machine to hold them, or with a human board holder. Now, if you have a human board holder or multiple board holders, the middle punch hold is going to be like this. So the grain is going horizontal this way. The board holder is going to be holding the top and bottom of the board. And you are expected to do, for this level, two pieces with a middle punch. So two pieces means two pieces held tightly together, no space in between. Whenever we're talking about boards, we don't have a space in between the boards. They're held, always held tight together. So from here, just like this, and then adjust the height accordingly for middle punch. And the easiest way to adjust the height is to adjust the length of your walking stance for the people that are holding. Rather than trying to do stuff like this, hold the boards out in front of you, lock the arms out like this, and just dip yourself lower down. Take a longer stance if you need to reduce height. So for this one, middle punch, we're looking at solar plexus level is the expectation for middle punch. So looking from the side, this is what the setup would be. And you can have one holder for two boards that is acceptable. Some people prefer to have two people holding. One person holding on one side, one person holding on the other side, just for extra strength. So if you have two board holders, that's even better. So the one board holder that's on one side is going to be like this. And the board holder, in fact, could be this way here, actually just like this, and the board holder that's on the other side is gonna be like this. So, but one, one holder is sufficient, but if you have two, that's even better. And if you have a machine to hold the boards, that's probably the best option. Um, so, once again, if I'm holding like this, if I'm holding the boards here, the person doing the braking is gonna be here, and do the middle punch. So you would start out of a walking stance and then from here, big key up and go forward, punch. And once again, should be aiming for the center of the board. The boards will break easiest if you hit them in the middle. If you start to go off center from there, it's gonna get much more difficult to try and break. So that is the board breaking set up for middle punch.